Astrid is a legendary hero, holy element, sorcerer class, and comes from the Bard family, where heroes from this family will get a buff on mana generation for each hero from a different family used. Astrid also has Aether power, namely Defense Up, where she gets plus 20% defense for 6 turns. And judging from this initial assessment, Astrid is considered a hero with a fairly good defensive ability. And judging from her basic stats, Astrid has high base stats, especially her defense and vitality stats. And Astrid also has two passive skills, namely all dance ailments and buffs cast by enemies only last for one turn. From here, we can see that Astrid is a counter to most heroes from the Opera family, so this effect can be said to be a passive that is quite useful in both defense and attack formations. And combined with her average mana generation, Astrid will be good enough to be used in defense and attack team formations. Judging from the effect of her skills, Astrid has three skill effects. The first is recovers 50% health for all allies. This effect is considered a strong healing effect, which can at least increase the vitality of her allies as a whole, plus if facing a strong fiend. Then this healing effect will be quite helpful to at least clear one or more fiends. The second skill effect, each defeated ally has a 50% chance to get revived with 25% HP. This skill effect is considered a revival, which will make Astrid quite popular to be used in defensive formations, because in addition to her high revive chance, this effect can be cast faster than several other revivers, such as Alberich, Mother North, and Xandria. And the third skill effect, all allies have a 20% chance to drop any received damage to one for three turns. This skill effect is quite good as an overall defense buff for allies. Although the chance level of the effect is not as good as Black Knight, the effect of this skill covers all allies, and gives them at least the possibility of being able to reduce damage from tiled damage or special skills. Judging from the overall effect of Astrid's skills and combined with her mana speed generation, Astrid will be good enough to fill the flank and tank positions in defense and attack formations. As for the Titan attack team, Astrid is not really recommended, because she does not have the required skills. And for the raid tournament, Astrid is not so good to use in bloody battle, because of the tournament rules and she will be very good to use in Rush Attack and Buff Booster. These are some of the things that make Astrid get an A score. And seen as a whole, starting from base stats, class, family, ether power, passive and active skills, we can see that Astrid is a hero who is included in the healer, reviver and buffer categories, and has a fairly strong skill effect in supporting all her allies during battle. It can be said briefly, that Astrid's skill is an upgraded version of Mother North, in terms of healing and revive power. And even though she doesn't have a defense buff skill as good as Black Knight, the scope of her skill effect is enough to help her allies to at least have a chance to reduce the damage received. Which if there is indeed no significant change to Astrid's skill during the beta process, then I can say that Astrid is a hero who has enough potential to become the next meta hero, and is certainly very worthy to be owned.